This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to UC San Diego. On uh, behalf of Chancellor Kosla and the executive leadership at the University of California, San Diego, we are so pleased uh, to have you here and to have the opportunity uh, for us to share collectively uh, in this very important area of carbon neutrality and uh, climate management. The summit focuses on a critical problem, not just for the UC system, uh, not just for our local communities, but for the state, for the nation, and for the globe. And we are pleased to be part of the process of shaping an action plan for this effort. Uh, I'd like to begin uh, before telling a little bit about the applied research work group that was sort of the, the impetus for this uh, by welcoming our leaders and our representatives from local, state, and federal government uh, whose policies and legislative acts and funding is critical uh, to solving the pressing problems that we will be discussing over the next two days. In fact, we will hear from Mayor Faulkner short, shortly and uh, Governor Brown and others uh, tomorrow. So we're very pleased to bring uh, these individuals together. I'd also like to welcome our business leaders, uh, local, national, and international, who will be participating over the course of these two days, and our, and our committed community partners and our sponsors uh, for this event. They've joined together uh, for, to help us focus on what we know and what we can and must do uh, to improve uh, the climate and our environment, and how to use this information to improve the economy as well. I'd also like to welcome uh, the leadership from the University of California. Uh, we have many individuals here. Uh, of course, President Napolitano will be with us tomorrow, uh, but we have uh, leaders from the 10 campuses, the directors of the national laboratories, uh, leadership from our uh, natural reserve system, um, administrative leadership in the office of the president in research, in education, in, uh, and investment. Uh, all here in San Diego. It's uh, their forethought and their effort to launch this carbon initiative uh, that has already paved the way for action. I'd like to especially thank uh, my uh, co-chair for the Applied Research Work Group, Dave Austin, and the members of the Applied Research Work Group who are here uh, for all of the work that has gone into this and the uh, forward-thinking efforts that they've already engaged in. And finally, I would like to thank our faculty and our scientists and our students who are here. Um, yours is the effort and the outcomes that we will be focusing on in the next two days. The Applied Research Work Group uh, was formed under the aegis of the office of uh, the president, Janet Napolitano, her Global Climate Leadership Council, which was formed in June of 2014, so just a bit over a year ago. Uh, it had, the Applied Research Work Group is one of 10 pillars in this uh, broad effort, uh, and um, uh, which the uh, UC Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, Rachel Nava, will introduce in, in a bit. Uh, comprises representatives from the Applied Research Work Group, has representatives from each of the campuses and the national labs. Uh, the focus is on our target of carbon neutrality by 2025, 10 years away. That's a remarkable challenge. Uh, a number of the members of the Applied Research Work Group, I'm sure you'll meet them over the course of the summit, but I know we have a number of the members here in the audience, and if I could just ask you to stand for a moment uh, so that everyone can see who, who has been doing this tremendous work. Please, uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, stand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the work group has designed and sponsored a series of activities in this last 15 months that have led up to the event today. Uh, the first was hosted by Dave Austin. It was a workshop uh, in, at UC Santa Barbara, again, including participants from all of the campuses. Uh, and the interesting thing about this was it was our first effort to bring together researchers and operations people to be able to develop a nexus for not just what we can do, but what we, are, but what we need to do to take the steps toward carbon neutrality. It was a remarkably productive uh, activity, and in it, we identified four major challenges or areas to focus on encompassing deep energy efficiency, renewable alternatives to natural gas, uh, renewable power, energy storage and integrated systems, some of which you'll see today, and policy and behavioral dimensions. Uh, a second major project that uh, the Applied Research Work Group has engaged in has been the energy water nexus research. Uh, this was hope, uh, sponsored by the Department of Energy and was held at UC Irvine this spring. The workshop brought together both water and energy utility leaders with academics, uh, nonprofits working in this area of the nexus of California and the Southwest's water and energy management issues that are so critical right now. It's rare that both sectors come together uh, and talking and thinking holistically really is the venue for us to solve these problems. The workshop, from the workshop, findings have been developed and issues and issued to key energy and water stakeholders and to the media as well. Um, a third major project that the Applied Research Work Group has embarked upon uh, was the Deep Energy Efficiency Project. Four campuses across the UC system came together to work uh, on this initiative. The research demonstration project identifies strategies to fully scale deep energy efficiency for one major end use, lighting at all of those four campuses, including two medical centers, and to make recommendations for implementation in a wide variety of contexts. Uh, the project emphasizes a comprehensive approach to lighting using remarkably new technologies uh, and capturing the pot potential of LED technologies. A uh, third project that I wanted to mention this morning, just to showcase some of the things that are already ongoing uh, and supported by the Applied Research Work Group, is the Deep Energy Efficiency Project, excuse me, is the Solar Greenhouse Project. In collaboration with UC Santa Cruz, uh, UC Riverside aims to create a demonstration project to understand the value of integrated solar PV greenhouses for reaching net energy zero greenhouses at the, within the UC, while increasing thermal comfort in the greenhouse laboratories and for the UCS, UC researchers. Uh, the goals are to enable more flexibility in siting these greenhouses uh, in remote areas to mitigate uh, and to mitigate carbon emissions from greenhouse operations. It's a remarkable project and we're very pleased that this has started. And last but not least, uh, there is the sponsorship for uh, the Carbon and Climate Neutrality Summit. It started in earnest this summer, and I want to mention that it involved at least 50 uh, authors and the engagement of the university's partners in industry and entrepreneurism, as well as federal, state, and local government sectors. Um, it involved faculty, staff, students, and we are indeed fortunate to have uh, Executive Vice President Rachel Navas uh, sponsorship, executive sponsorship, uh, President Napolitano's overall leadership in engaging uh, the state leaders, and Professor Ramanathan, the UC faculty uh, leader who is uh, assisting in 
herding the cats in developing the top 10 solutions that we collectively can focus on to bring us to carbon neutrality and begin to change uh, the climate curve. Uh, the Applied Research Workgroup also focuses on additional uh, funding opportunities. It's a terrific forum to talk about ways that we can work together uh, as an educational system and uh, as communities across the state for the state in producing important changes. Uh, an example is the recent consortium for U.S.-China Clean Energy Research Center in the, uh, excuse me, in the Energy Water Tract came ab about in no small part through discussions that were enabled in this process. And we've already started to brainstorm and to strategize about other topics that would uh, uh, facilitate seed efforts across various sites individually and collectively to make a difference in this area. Uh, the, apl uh, the Applied Research Work Group doesn't work in isolation. It's only one of 10 pillars in uh, the climate initiative. Uh, and there are other initiatives that are very important and integrally related. I mentioned energy and water just a moment ago. Uh, but we have uh, partnered with other uh, fo foci of the president, including food, uh, the Mexico initiative, the academic pipeline, tech commercialization. So there are a variety of different areas that are, we know are critical to the UC system and to the state and uh, appreciate, as I hope this summit represents, that bringing people together to talk about these issues can result in better and faster solutions and more effective action. Uh, I would like to, uh, just before closing, uh, make a brief announcement about a special award that will be coming in uh, this upcoming year from the uh, Office of the Chief Investment Officer of the Regents. Uh, uh, that office will be supporting the UC-wide climate solutions and carbon neutrality uh, uh, through its commitment to a new Entrepreneurs Award competition in the coming year. So we will be calling on each of the campuses to be making recommendations for consideration for this award. And to quote the Chief Operating Officer, Jagdeep Bakir, uh, proactively investing in climate solutions is one of the most impactful options available to the Office of the Chief Investment Officer to support the University of California in its leadership and climate issues. We are inspired by the ingenuity and dedication of our faculty and our students to solve global challenges and the global challenge of climate change. OCIO is honored to be able to support the efforts of our best and our brightest. So we're very pleased. We know that that office has uh, already uh, committed a billion dollars to climate solutions through the UC Ventures programs, and they're promoting entrepreneurship and innovation across the UC. And uh, finally, I would like to just take a moment and thank the corporate sponsors for this event. Uh, there is, of uh, course, the UC Carbon Neutrality Initiative effort uh, support from the Office of the President. I want to call out, in particular, Clean Tech San Diego, very invested in this area and actually a national and international leader in green technologies. Uh, SDG&E, which is a separate energy utility, uh, they've been very forward-thinking in their approach in this, in this arena. Uh, and uh, facing, not afraid to face the challenges that an energy utility has in this time of making ma major transitions in this arena. Also, the Unified Port of San Diego uh, and uh, transport for our transportation uh, uh, services, I want to um, mention BYD and car to go which was already mentioned, uh, and in addition, several anonymous uh, donors.